The Sword and Shield era is almost over, so I decided to go all in and buy one of every booster box that I could find. Here they are. We've got Sword and Shield Base, Rebel Clash, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, Lost Origin, and Silver Tempest. Today's video, I'm going to talk about what I bought them for, what their current market value is, and if I think this is going to be a good investment or just a nice collector's piece. Okay, so I created a little bit of a spreadsheet here, so I'm going to talk you through it really quick. So right now, these are all 12 sets, the main sets that you can buy booster boxes for from Sword and Shield. And I looked on TCG Player just this morning as I'm recording this, and here's the prices. So Sword and Shield cost is 238, 64, Rebel Clash 200, Darkness of Blaze 145, Vivid Voltage 134, Battle Styles $88, Chilling Rain 111, Evolving Skies, this is the big one, $284 for a booster box market price right now. Fusion Strike 110, Brilliant Stars is also an expensive one, 180. Uh, Astral Radiance, 102, Lost Origin, 114, and Silver Tempest is $112. So full disclaimer, here's what I paid for it. Sword and Shield and Darkness Ablaze, I found off of a guy on Facebook, and he sold them to me for $475 Canadian. I'm Canadian, so in these next two columns here, this is what I paid for in Canadian in column D. Then in column E, I divided all of column D by 1.37, which is roughly the current exchange rate to bring it back to US dollar pricing, which is what TCG player uh, deals in. So 475 Canadian is what I paid for the Sword and Shield box and Darkness Ablaze box. So if you bring that down to US dollars, I paid 346 for Sword and Shield, which is 108 bucks over but then i saved 145 so i actually got a pretty good deal on that by i don't know 30 bucks 35 dollars is what i saved rebel clash that's an expensive one especially considering what you can find in rebel clash there's like no cards worth any type of value i think the most expensive one is 30 25 maybe it's crazy Anyway, so I ended up paying $194, so right around that market price. Couldn't find anything cheaper than that. Darkness of Blaze, I already talked about. Vivid Voltage cost me $129, almost $130. So realistically, most of the sets, especially that I bought online from an actual hobby store, I buy from Hobbiesville. There's a link in the description where you can get 5% off if you're interested. Um, they're, they have their stuff about like, well, it's right in line with the market price. Basically, I'm paying $5 less. And that equates to the 5% off that I got, right? Battle Styles, that's a cheap one. Cost me $83. Chilling Rain cost me $104. So saved myself $7 off the market price there. Evolving Skies, this is the other one I got off Facebook Marketplace. I paid in total... $295 plus shipping. So total, I didn't include the shipping on here, but it cost me $295 for the box, which is $215 American US dollars, which is a great price that saved me $70 off of that box. This box keeps going up and up and up and up and up. Absolutely crazy. Brilliant stars. They have this one on PokemonCenter.com right now, which is where I got it from for $136.49 American. Um which is crazy considering that the market price on TCG is $180. You can find stuff on Pokemon Center. It's usually not a bad price. It usually goes for MSRP. Astral Radiance uh, saved 10 bucks there. Lost Origin, 10 bucks there. And Silver Tempest, another 10 or $15. So basically with that 5% off code at Hobbiesville, you're getting about 5% off of the market price. They're pretty... Um, pretty in line with the market price. So overall, all 12 booster boxes cost me $1,600, whereas the market price should have cost me $1,824. I wanna quickly take a look at TCG Player. Let's take a look at the different stuff that you can find here. So, okay, so this one just keeps on going up. 
there's it's gone up almost fifty dollars, which is like I don't have the math in front of me, uh, but fifty dollars it's like a twenty five percent increase, which is insane for the year. That's looking like a pretty darn good investment, especially considering the whole Pokemon trajectory is that upward trend. Let's quickly take a look at what cards are in this set. Like you can get a Marnie full art, $46 is the highest pan price. So as we look at these older sets, they're really like, they're kind of not worth opening because there's nothing good enough that you can get in these booster boxes to make it worth the price. But as they're getting older, they're getting harder to find. Like Sword and Shield base set was a hard one for me to find. I had to do a lot of searching for it. And it's just, you can probably find these single cards. Well, most of these are available on TCG player to purchase singles. So if you really want a card from Sword and Shield, the booster box is just not worth it. But cool to have because as time goes on, as we've seen in multiple, especially like the original Pokemon boxes, they're just insanely priced and they're hard to find because they're 20 something years old. So that's cool. Next, let's look at Rebel Clash uh the one year mark wow so it spiked in february end of february 2022 and then it dipped all the way down to 178 now it has almost reached that peak again at 200 dollars. so this one a little bit uh, up and down hard to know but again this one if we look at the graph of cards there's just nothing really good that you can pull. The Sonya Full Art is $28 and the boss's orders. So there's three $25 cards. The rest are less than $20. So you are going to have a really hard time getting your money's worth pulling Rebel Clash cards. But again, it just keeps going up. Let's keep on going. Darkness Ablaze has had a nice little bump here in the last... Actually, the really recent, it's gone from 130 up to 145. So this one looks like it's on the up and up. Uh, the only card that I can think of right now in Darkness of Blaze that is going to be looking good for you is the Charizard at $38, $39. The rest are under 10 So how are you getting your money's worth from Darkness of Blaze? But really cool piece to have. Still, still I think... I mean, I wouldn't have done it if I thought it was a bad investment. So just owning a booster box, sealed booster box of each set, I think is a really cool idea. Uh, as we start to move in into the more recent sets, Vivid Voltage is still fairly old, but this one has started to level off. It has some peaks, but it's sitting always right around that 125 to 130 mark, which is all right. Let's quickly take a look at the graph. Vivid Voltage... The Pikachu VMAX, the Chunkachu Rainbow is worth a crap ton. So arguably you could get your money's worth out of this box if you pull that one card. Literally one card that gets the job done in Vivid Voltage. Otherwise you're looking at a pretty low price. Battle Styles, I actually think Battle Styles might be an all right purchase just because of how cheap the booster box is right now, $88.00. And it's just kind of stayed stagnant in between that $85, $95 range this year. And there's actually a couple decent cards. They're not worth a cra crazy amount, but uh, oh, the Tyranitar V, like this is much better bang for your buck. You have four shots at making almost half of your booster box in one card. So it might not happen. Yeah, of course it might not happen but you have some chances to actually increase your finances by pulling these cards. So I think Battle Styles is a great purchase right now. And again, over time, there's these, those are the four cards that are actually worth something. Battle Styles isn't a crazy popular set, but it's so cheap right now that you could make some money here. Chilling Rain, three months graph is looking good. This graph is looking awesome. There's some actually really nice cards in here uh, and it's gone from $89 up to $112 over the last year. So that's a nice increase 90 to it's gone up by 20 bucks. So again, that's like a little over 20%, which is insane. Also some good cards in here. Chilling rain. Let's quickly take a look. 
We got the Blaziken. I haven't pulled that one yet. I pulled Galarian Moltres in one of my last videos. I think it was a couple weeks ago now. Amazing card. Also pulled the Snorlax in one of my very first videos on the channel when it was still Collins collecting. So some really cool cards. Look at this though. Like, let's just take a $40 mark. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards that you can pull that are gonna get you $40 worth of value. That is insane. And there's a handful that are above $20 and $30 as well. Chilling Rain is a sick pack. Evolving Skies, here is what everyone is just searching for. That Moonbrion is going crazy still. The Rayquaza VMAX going crazy. All the alt arts in this set are going crazy. I actually have another spreadsheet for whether it's worth to pull Evolving Skies, just like I did for Silver Tempest a little while ago. That video will be coming out soon. Um, but man, what an increase. So if you would have bought this at the end of last year, 2021, you could have bought in for $120 for a booster box. Now, $285. That is like, that's a 150% increase. Absolutely insane. $285. But again, in this set, you have some chances. You got, let's pull it up here. Umbreon, $492. Rayquaza, almost $300. Glaceon, $160. Letheon, $160. Sylveon, $135. Dragonite, 100 You have six cards worth over $100 right off the hop, and then just a whole ton more that are worth $20, $30, $60, $90. Dollars. Absolutely insane. But you are paying a lot up front for that Evolving Skies booster box. Moving on to Fusion Strike. What do we have here? We have eh, started at 90 last year and we're at 110 so that same thing as chilling rain has gone up by a little over 20 percent year over year i still think that these sets especially the like middle of the line of sword and shield era is gonna do quite well because they have some good cards let's quickly take a look at fusion strike Come on, Gengar and Espeon VMAX, both worth 167, 167. Got the Mew, 80 and 43, Celebi, 36. Awesome stuff. So you got some chances. It's a cool, cool pack. Brilliant Stars, this has also gone up huge. 116, it started the year off, and it's currently almost at $180. A 60, $70 jump. Not quite. 60 to $70 jump. That's uh, almost 50% increase. And talked about it lots. This is one of my favorite sets. If you like Charizard, Arceus, I mean, there's some sweet. Plus, it started off with the Trainer Gallery, which just makes your odds so much better. Charizard, Altart, $183. The Rainbow Charizard, $80. Arceus, $44. But now we have to start considering the Trainer Gallery, which is also insane. We have the Umbreon VMAX. We have the Sylveon VMAX. You have literally seven more chances of hitting a 10 plus dollar card in that spot number two, even if it's not a good code card for Brilliant Stars. Okay, Astral Radiance, this one. Now we're starting to see the newer sets that started off really high and have come back down to earth. So I think... Personal opinion, don't take this as investing advice, but I think that this is a great time to be buying some of these newer sets, Astral Radiance, Lost Origin, and Silver Tempest, just because, man, they've come down a lot. So Astral Radiance, let's just quickly take a look at the three graphs here. So Astral Radiance is down to $102, actually taking a loss since the start. Uh, Lost Origin took that same loss and now it's moving back up. So it hit a low of $98. Now we're back up to 113. So yeah, it's not back up to where it started, but over the last uh, two, three months, we've seen a 20% increase. And then Silver Tempest, I think we're gonna see somewhat of the same thing, big drop off and now it's starting to pick back up. So all three of these sets, uh, we have Astral Radiance. They all have the Trainer Gallery cards. Astral Radiance, I think, has the least amount of value that you can pull 
from these cards. The Machamp V Alt Art is $120 and a couple cards above $20, $30. But then if we go to Lost Origin, we have that Giratina and the uh, Aerodactyl, which increase your chances quite a bit. 271 for the Giratina, 127 for the Aerodactyl, insane, uh, plus a handful. Actually, this Lost Origin drops off pretty heavy after those initial two cards. And Silver Tempest, we all know that we are looking for the Lugia Altar, $204. This one has actually dropped off quite a bit. And then there's a handful of cards in that $30, $40 range, but nothing too crazy. But the prices for these booster boxes are looking really awesome. So overall, back to my spreadsheet, I spent $1,600. Market price of $1,800. I'm planning on holding these booster boxes for a few years. And as you can look at, I'm not going to pull it up on TCG Player now, but the X and Y era, the black and white era, Pokemon cards, some of these booster boxes are going for like six, $700. Evolutions is like $1,000 almost. So some of these booster boxes are going nuts. So I'm hoping that some of these Sword and Shield era ones hit. Um... Plus, it's just a cool collection to have every one of the Sword and Shield era. Now, I can't go with a video without pulling some cards. So let's get to my uh, card playground, pull some packs. I got a couple of random ones here for you today, and then that'll be the end of the video. Thanks for stu sticking by. Uh, if you've appreciated or liked this content, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like it, comment. Let me know what you think, if you think it's a good idea to invest or not. And um, let me know if you like these style of videos. I'm trying to change up the channel a little bit. I like numbers. I like spreadsheets. I like looking at the graphs of these stuff. So if you like it too, let me know. If you don't, also let me know so that I can just keep ripping cards for you all on the Pokey Office. Here, let's get to some packs. Okay, let's get into some packs. I got a random assortment here. We got a Darkens of Blaze, two Evolving Skies, one Vivid Voltage, and a bunch of Brilliant Stars. Should be fun. I'm saving Evolving Skies for last because that's what I do here on the Pokey Office. Uh, still looking for those alt arts. Tried a lot recently. But what can you do? We got Vivid Voltage up first. The Chunkachu is the one worth lots. Uh, that would be absolutely sick. Never pulled it. I haven't pulled a lot of Vivid Voltage. Meg Cargo. Shedinja. Okay, we'll go Darkness of Blaze. This one, we're looking for the Charizard. I actually have an extra booster box of Vivid Voltage. So that will be uh, somewhere in the future, opening up some extra Vivid Voltage, which I haven't done much of. I think I, I had one Elite Trainer box on the channel so far. And uh, other than that, haven't opened up a ton. Their Vivid Voltage came in like some of the boxes as well. Bone Sweeps, Eternatus. I feel like I always pronounce this guy wrong. How do you say this? Eternatus? Maybe that's it. Pretty cool looking card actually. A little off center. Uh, we're going Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars. Here we go. Forward from the back, time to attack. Morgrim, Plato. Ooh, Ariados, Trainer Gallery. That's nice, this is a double banger pack. It doesn't look like it. Grim Snarl, Non Hollow. This is a nice card, I haven't pulled this one yet. Trainer Gallery, number nine. Pulled a lot of Ariadoses the other day. Uh, like, I think the Pokemon Go video? Something like that. I pulled two of them in a row. That is what makes Brilliant Stars moving forward with Trainer Gallery cards so good. You just have so many more opportunities to pull cards. And I love the Trainer Gallery cards. They look so awesome. But apparently, with the new Scarlet Violet stuff, um, they're not doing the trainer gallery. Well, actually, we don't. It just says where I think you're guaranteed three foils. 
per pack, which sounds awesome, but I don't know. In practice, I don't know if it's gonna be good or if it's gonna be bad. It's hard to say, I guess we'll just have to find out. I'm looking forward to it though. There is some really cool Pokemon, Scarlet and Violet, and there's some really, feels like unoriginal Pokemon, Scarlet and Violet, the game so far. That being said, I'm not all the way through. I think I have maybe a third of the Pokédex done in the game. So, you never know. Come on, baby. Come on. I feel like something is back here. There is. Just a V card, most likely. Mimikyu. V. Gotta love it though. Anytime it's <clears throat> actual B or better is a good thing. A very good thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on, can we go back to back? Starling. Come on, come on, come on, execute. Tried to say executor. And I got there, but it didn't sound very good. Okay, here we go. Last pack of Brilliant Stars. Still looking for any type of Charizard. And then, of course, the Evolving Skies, we got the chance of the Moonbrion yet again. Roseanne's back up, and Grimstyle again. Okay, two packs of Evolving Skies. This would be one sick way to finish the video. If I can ever get this pack open. There we go. I've been doing this for a few months and I still have a hard time opening the pack sometimes. It's frustrating. But, come on. Come on. One time, dealer. Okay, we got one chance. I like those odds. I like those odds. Oof. Tried to choke. I didn't. Crystal Cave. But it's nothing. Gigalith. Non hollow. That's a wrap on the Pokey Office this episode. Let me know if you like the content, if you like me going through spreadsheets and some data. I enjoy it. I'm a numbers guy. And as always, I'm opening Pokemon cards multiple times a week at the Pokey Office. You can stop by anytime, and I'll see you on my next video.